Friends of Northeast Georgia, I am Will Dodd, and I'm going to show you some basic moves to get started with in Tinkercad. So first, you're going to want to create a new design. Now, once your workspace loads up, you're going to see there is a lot going on in this workspace. I am going to show you the very most important things that you need to know when you're first getting started out. So uh, first, let's start with uh, using a mouse. I highly suggest you use a mouse because a touchpad is tough to use with Tinkercad. So on your computer mouse, you'll notice the left mouse button. It is used in Tinkercad to select objects. So you can select anything with your left mouse button. You can also click an open space and drag a square to select multiple items. Uh, that's what the left mouse button does, used for selecting. The wheel here, uh, you can press that wheel down and move your mouse and you can move it up and down and left and right and actually get your work plane to move um, according to your mouse motion. Now I can also roll forward that wheel and zoom in and I can roll it out, roll it backwards to zoom out. Uh, at any time I can click this home view button and it snaps me right back to where I started from. Now finally the right mouse button, you can hold that right mouse button down and move your mouse and you can see it rotates your work plane space so that's that's a good one to uh, to use when you're getting a good view of your design I'm gonna click home view again to snap back you might have noticed this little cube rotating around you can use this to get very specific views of your model when you're building it uh, so that's a that's something good you can use as well uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you on the right side here basic shapes there are a lot of shapes to choose from uh, you can also find more advanced shapes here but we're just gonna take a look at the basic shapes today so I'm going to go ahead and click a box, put it on my workspace, and you'll notice immediately a lot of new stuff pops up here. First two buttons I'm going to show you are the solid and hole button. Get a better view of my shape here. Uh, the solid one, you can click that and you can select any color you'd like to change uh, your shape to, which is that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to click here, hole. That turns this shape into a hole. I can group that later with another shape and actually make a hole in that shape, but we'll get to that later. I'm going to turn it back into a solid here. Um, some of these slider bars right here, radius actually rounds off the edges of your shape. That's a good one to play with. Steps, not real sure what that does. You can leave me a comment if you know. Uh, length, width, height. Uh, those are pretty self-explanatory. You can change the length, width, and height of your shape. Another handy button here is the undo button because let's say I wanted uh, this shape to be back to how it was originally. I can click undo and it puts it right back to where it goes. Now let's say I wanted to redo it. I can click that button. Uh, let's see. On your shape, you're going to notice there's a lot of different handles here. There's a white squares and there are black squares. White squares change two dimensions at once. Uh, so you can use that. Let's say I wanted to change the dimension of this cube to be larger, but I wanted it to stay proportional. I can actually hold down the shift key and click those white squares and I can make it proportional. So it stays uh, a perfect square, it just gets larger, right? Uh, this white square at the top, I can change the height. Uh, let's see, the black squares I can change one dimension at a time. And this black triangle, I can use it to lift my shape up into space or push it down in space. And finally, these curved arrows, I can click those and rotate my shape along the X, Y, and Z axis. So those are the very basic moves you'll need to know for Tinkercad before we get started. Uh, so tune in to the next couple videos. I will show you some more basic moves, and uh, we'll get started in our first designs. I'll see you then.